This is Cybert signing into General's Evolution, the mod for Red Alert 3 on the map, DEFCON or DEFCON 6, as the Cyan, as the China in the north. This is Zhao. Oh, that's so much more zoom than I'm used to. As the uh, Red USA, this is Dada Sada? Dada. I won't be calling him Daddy, though, but his name is a little bit difficult to pronounce. Meanwhile, as the yellow playing China, this is Zocker Pro. I don't know, this might be the real Zocker, the, or I say real Zocker, but the Zocker that some of you may recognize from Red Alert 3, and uh, maybe, maybe not. As the purple China, this is K. And rounding out as the blue China, this is S Digital. And as the orange GLA, the only GLA player in this game, this is Seguro. So I'm coming up to the last couple of games that I think I'll be covering of Gen Evo until the next patch. I believe this is uh, version 2.1. And I know that they were talking about there's going to be like a version 3 maybe this year, maybe not. We'll see. A couple of gats coming in. South. by the way, this is a six-player FFA, so it might get absolutely crazy very quickly. Uh, Rock V is going to be going up against this Gatling tank, and pretty nice kiting, but not perfect kiting from those Rock Vs. And uh, wow, right out of the gate, Cluster Mine dropped directly on top of those uh, of the supply depots, and they are going to take a little bit of damage on those supply trucks, but ultimately should be fine. And actually, I guess... Okay, he's trying to clean up the mines there. I thought he was attacking his own units for a moment there. A couple of technicals coming in for Sigoro. But I think I'm going to take a little break from Gen Evo after these last three games that I'm casting. So I'll spread these games out. Gets the supply center as well. So Zouth doing a bit of damage, but also taking a good bit of damage himself. He's got both of those oil derricks cranking away for him. And, uh... As I said, I think I'm going to take a little break from Gen Evo until... Oh, man, those technicals all exploding. Until the 3.0 patch, or the 3.0 update. Tunnel getting deleted, maybe? Finally, it does go down. Sigoro does not have any additional reinforcements coming out from that tunnel. And eventually, this attack will slow down. Zouth able to hold this off. Finally... Uh, it's taken some while, it's taken a while, it's taken some damage, but finally Zouth has managed to do that. Cluster Mine gets dropped in the south by K, and Digital is going to be able to push that back, at least for the current moment, and the Dozer, it seems, does survive, trying to establish a fresh command center uh, there in the south. So do not despair, we still have some Gen, e Gen Evo action to get to, and actually I think I have one of them packed away in a rainy day folder as well, so... Still going to be some Gen Evo action, but uh, not necessarily a lot until the 3.0 update, or the point three. I shouldn't say 3.0. Point three update. Rock V's push in. Rock V's get pushed back. Deadass uh, is going to be uh, getting pushed back there by Zouth. A little bit of a tension in the north. Bomb car coming up for Seguro, and he's going to be getting some free damage against Zouth. He's going to go for the supply truck once again, weakening Zouth's economy just a smidge. And then the outpost coming up for Desada. Going to be able to drop a supply center. And what is this? A Patriot missile system. So he is going to be playing as that super weapons general as he's got those EMPs going for him. I don't know where that supply truck was going. Zocker getting some free damage against that supply truck. Meanwhile, Zocker going for his own airfield. Some people were asking, hey, have aircraft been implemented? And uh, in some of the previous games, people just weren't building aircraft. And in this particular case, it looks like Zocker is going to break that silence and finally show us some aircraft. Maybe it'll be just helixes. We shall see. Nuclear reactor coming up. Dragon Tank going to be trying to shut down this building 4K. And Digital will be getting pushed back here. The, the numbers are on the side of K, but... He does get the shutdown of that command center, I believe, is what was constructing down there. Meanwhile, in the north, GLA Seguro going to be defeating Zouth, and Zouth is like, I can't stand up against that. All quads, all scorpions coming in here for Seguro, and he's just going to keep pushing 
to the right. He could actually take this quite nicely as an expansion. Zout still has a decent number of cash in those supply centers and uh, 20,000 and uh, 16,000. So yeah, definitely a nice amount of cash. Meanwhile, K starting to push into the base of Digital, and it looks like the Gats are going to jump on the freshly spawning Gats of Digital. Zouth has been defeated, but there's a possibility that Digital won't be that far behind him. A couple of Battle Masters, but the Command Center is also getting targeted down by Tank Hunters. They will eventually get the kill on that. Giant GLA army heading to the east. Digital has been defeated, leaving the game there. And K and Zouth, or K and Sigoro, both going to have empty bases next to them. And we'll see if it actually turns out turns out to be an advantage or if it's uh, something that doesn't work out in their favor. Where are you going? Cargo playing just escaping to space, going up and up forever. Dedasa going to be taking the middle of the map, still uncontested there. Going to be trying to stop this army, and he will be able to stop it with his Rock Vs and his EMP Patriots. Sigoro not going to be able to have an easy time killing off Desada like he did killing off Zouth. Every single unit goes down. The Rock Vs standing tall against the forces of Sigoro. Reinforcements potentially coming in, a second wave being readied, but no expansion coming up for Sigoro. Uh, meanwhile, K also not taking the expansion there, but will be taking an intermediate expansion on the low ground. The bottom right corner of the map definitely feeling crowded, but no one quite looking to uh, expand out yet. Zocker happy to sit here, build up five helixes. Oh, man. This is potentially just a lot of firepower that Zocker is building inside of his base, and he is going to explode out onto the map with a gigantic punch to the face of whoever tries to oppose him. Will we actually see the Aurora Bomber get utilized? I think someone said that they're the units, they don't actually have, like, a runway because in Red Alert 3, all of the aircraft are VTOL. Yeah, VTOL. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I kept, I just double-checked myself, like, vertical takeoff and landing. And then I was like, wait, where's the O? But it's there with takeoff. Anyways, command center coming down. Finally, the expansion is going to be established by K. Zocker is also, <laughs> Zocker. Zagoro is also going to be expanding to the 12 o'clock position. And Zocker with his internet center churning away. He's got a bit of cash. Late game coming in as he is not taking one of the low ground expansions for himself. The Auroras are cutting through the middle of the map, so we didn't get to see them take off, but wow, they do change position, change direction really quickly. One, no, he's actually going to be going for the supply center. And oh, those Auroras all got destroyed. That was terrible. Okay, so the Auroras are useless in that particular situation, at least at killing off supply stashes. Three Auroras didn't kill one supply stash, and it looks like he's got the, uh, what is the upgrade? The fortified, the fortress upgrade, whatever it is that fortifies the walls of your buildings. Another big push coming in here for Sigoro. EMPs shutting down some of these tanks, but as the Rock Vs come in, it's three Patriot systems locking down this expansion, locking down this attack, and yes, indeed, those Tomahawks get their kills. They land their mark and there is the Tomahawks finishing off the last of that attacking force. A pretty terrible effort there for Sigoro. I'm surprised he just walked right up into that wall of EMP Patriots and was just happy with, like, the attempted A move. Ooh, buggies are a hit-and-run unit, but they get clobbered by those Humvees, able to just shut them down, and that is the situation where the, rock, where the rocket buggies look like they're useless. But in a different set of hands, they are indeed quite powerful, as we have seen in the past, just not in that particular situation. Rocket Buggies getting some shots off. They clean up one Humvee, and they're going to keep on moving. Missiles of Defenders versus uh, RPG Troopers, as uh, this is going to be a long-fought battle one way or the other. 
Okay, takes the expansion at the, uh, I don't know, 8 o'clock position, I guess you could call that. The Battle Bus trying to exchange blows with that EMP Patriot, but ultimately the Patriot wins. And in this particular case, the Battle Bus doesn't need to go anywhere, so the EMP isn't that big of a deal. Rockby sneaking into the base of Seguro, and Seguro trying to chase it down with Battle Bus's K moving into the middle of the map as it's going to be the A-10 Warthog strike landing on the double oil derrick and cleaning it up. Crusaders making their way to the front line, and at least the Crusaders are a viable unit, unlike in Generals, in, unlike in Zero Hour. At least they're viable here. It has its own problems, but at least the tanks do something. And Zocker is literally just waiting around. He has been so passive in this game to let everyone else clobber each other and kill themselves. Meanwhile, he's just happy to build up, and honestly, that may work just fine, assuming K and Desada go for each other's throat, which I assume is about to happen. I think K is going to walk across the map and just try and clobber Desada, and if not, then uh, Desada may just be happy to play defensively, because I don't think he can take this army. <laughs> Seguro getting the last shot on that outpost out as he like swings in with his rocket buggies, fires a couple of rockets, and then calls it a day. And nope, K is actually going to be turning to attack Zocker. So here's where we see if Zocker's defense is as good as it looks. This guy has an insane number of helixes, and he's also got a nuclear missile coming up as well. Two minutes left on the particle cannon, or two and a half minutes left, rather. Five and a half on the nuclear missile of K. So the clock is ticking another fresh outpost going down for Desada, or getting established rather, within the vision of Seguro. So he's got that idea. Battle Bus is coming in through for some harassment. Seguro, happy to stop building gigantic armies to try and A move through the front door with, and instead going to be turning around, getting some Battle Buses, and going for that gorilla hit and run style. He actually bursts down a war factory, almost exposing the nuclear missile. And look at this, Zocker does not have to play the defensive game. Unfortunately, we don't have the chat replay, so it's possible that Zocker was like, no, go kill the American guy, kill the USA player. Don't go for me, I'm a fellow China player. And we are just happy to build up and then eventually clash at the end of the match. But in this particular case, Seguro going to be coming in here with a couple of rocket buggies on the left side of the map. He's going to get cleaned up by those Gats. And as you can see, the Gats just chew through those rocket buggies no problem when they're actually in range. Inferno Cannons trying to work away at these defenses, but the Patriots making short work of the Gats that tried to move in to do some damage. A Tomahawk gets off one shot, but it looks like the low ground, this valley, might be the place where the blood is spilled and where K finds out, never mind, as he backs off there, no engagement actually happens. He's just going to try and go right in the front door instead of going for the army of Desada. Aurora's come through. Big damage there against those overlords, but ultimately the overlords stand tall. And, uh, well, at least this Comanche is getting a couple of shots in as the Gats are busy, worried about the ground targets. The Aurora's making another pass at these units, cleaning up the Infernos behind the front line. And eventually the Comanche does go down. K continues to push on forward, and Desada is giving it everything he's got. But is it going to be enough? The Aurora's coming through with another burst of big damage against the Infernos, and the, uh, the Aurora's starting to get cleaned up. K getting battered and bruised, but he's desperate to make it against Desada and not have the Particle Cannon delete his army. Starting to spread out. The Particle Cannon ready to go. Is he going to be able to clean up the army? He's going to start in the top left corner. And that particle cannon, insane the way it's just going to wipe the floor with this army. Oh, man, that particle cannon is vicious. The support power is coming in. The Gats still standing strong. The airfield getting eliminated. And it looks like three minutes on the clock, 4K. Low power, those EMP Patriots do you no good if they can't actually fire, but it's the Tomahawks that's gonna try and clean up this army. The Overlord's still here, the Battle Bus doing a bit of damage, and K rebuilding a giant tank army, 
behind this attack. He's only got two overlords left, but he's got a decent number of rocket troopers as well as those tank hunters are going to hunt down this crusader. And that tomahawk getting so many shots off from the back, but it's not enough to clean up these emperors. They are just doing too much damage to the base of Dasada. One Emperor finally goes down. The Overlords have been stopped, and this guy may actually get the Supply Center before he gets eliminated. And that ore mine is indeed depleted. The Supply Stash is no more. And the Tunnel Pop is not good enough. K shuts that down, and K readies a second wave as he's got two minutes on the clock continuing to count down that nuke. The particle cannon is off the board, and the tomahawks, oh my gosh, these tomahawks can't even kill these tank hunters quickly. The last of the mines go down, and that splash damage is wonderful against those power plants. Okay, so Desada survives. K with, with a pretty long, drawn-out battle, and uh, ends up does some pretty hefty damage to Desada, but not enough. Desada's defenses were certainly weakened, and I mean, at this point, Zakra could probably just walk over there and punch him down. Oh man, this is going to be an insane amount of helix firepower when eventually Zakra does come into the mix. And Sigoro just managing to survive. He's the kid hiding in the corner. He's getting a couple of shots in here or there, but he is uh, probably not going to be the one to take this game unless this goes on for a while and everyone else just kills each other off in a uh, in like mutually assured destruction sort of way. Zakar and Kay, the two powerhouse players, but Desada is spread out nicely enough that... He may actually be able to survive this, again, kind of in a mutually assured destruction kind of way. He may lose his main base, but this expansion over here survives, and he's just slowly but surely harvesting away those resources. Bomb truck comes in, gets eliminated, no problems there. Stealth bomber comes in, and... Oh, the Moab doesn't land. It gets deleted. We don't get to see what the Moab looks like. 50 seconds on the clock. Strategy Center is getting reestablished. All that tech, all those buildings that Desada lost, he's slowly but surely rebuilding them. And pretty much everyone's been able to hold on to their oil derricks for uh, this game. And actually, K managed to get four of them. So these ones didn't get deleted when Digital left the game. And these got cleaned up a while ago, I believe, by Desada. So Desada's got two oil derricks, but K has four. Zocker has these two as well. And. Zucker posturing near Kay's base. Kind of a dangerous game to play. I'm actually kind of surprised he's not moving out against Desada. But I guess he figures maybe if he can kill Kay with his ground army, maybe his helixes can hold off the rest of the map and keep Zucker in this match. Supply Center is getting established, but also EMP Patriot missile systems getting established, and the nuke will come down somewhere. Oh, that was actually Zocker's nuke. I was wondering why K nuked himself, but it was, of course, Zocker. Emperors versus Emperors, as it looks like Zocker is going to fail to attack this base couple of MiGs coming in here, but ultimately not going anywhere. And Zocker is actually breaking the, through the front line, but does he have enough to stop the rest of these Overlord tanks? Zocker might actually be able to punch through the south side. The reinforcements from the north side should be able to stop him as his Overlords are getting low on health. The four that remain going toe-to-toe -to -toe with K, but the reinforcements will seal the deal at the same time. Battle bus, no, it's going to be a bunch of scorpions sneaking in the back door. The tunnel leading into the base of K and K fighting on two fronts, maybe even on three fronts, as Desada engages the middle of the map. And we do actually have Avengers now in the game. They are indeed here. We get to see them as we didn't get to see them in some of the previous games. But 
Zocker has been eliminated, and this army rather has been eliminated. He's still got that gigantic helix force in his base. And Kay turns around to deal with the Scorpions. He's trying to focus down this Overlord tank, and he's barely going to get it. But it costs him more and more Scorpions to get the kill on that Overlord. Desada cleans up the middle of the map, leaving only this listening outpost there on the left side of that center expansion point. And the tanks from K will reign supreme, albeit barely. And actually, some of this other infrastructure might get taken out. Nope, K with more reinforcements swinging in from the left side. The Gats targeting down the Quad and the Scorpions of Sigoro. And Sigoro just barely keeping it together with this match. But actually putting out a surprising amount of damage for uh, what he has been doing. A surprising amount of damage for the position he's got in this game. K happy to reposition himself into the bottom left-hand corner. A couple of Tomahawks push forward, or a Tomahawk and a Crusader push forward, and they get eliminated by those defensive uh, RPG troopers. Bomb truck on the way to the middle of the map. Where are you going with this, Sigoro? The nuke got cleaned up, I think, twice. So K, I think, has lost his nuke twice, his silo, rather. And Zocker has three minutes on the clock for his own. Ooh, the mines! Almost the mines getting the kill on that bomb truck. Zagoro pulling it off of that line of attack that it was on early enough that it denied it. Particle Cannon back online. Ooh, almost gets the power plant, but doesn't quite get the kill. Desada making the comeback. He took a ton of damage, but uh, he's got himself a particle cannon back up and running. It's kind of on a on the front lines, but, you know, I guess if, if someone is that far, they're probably going to be doing more damage. Another sneaky tunnel getting established, and he's going to go for the, or, the oil derricks, rather, of K. A good way to just do some solid damage. Unrecoverable damage, perhaps is he actually gets a kill on one of the Battlemasters as well with the help of that exploding oil derrick. A couple of these other Battlemasters extremely low on health with the help of that Gatling tank low on health. And just barely maybe is not going to get the oil derrick. Everything that he had into that tunnel and Sigoro doesn't get the kill on both oil derricks. The tunnel does eventually go down in this one Overlord tank. I'm not sure what he was doing. He was fighting a couple of battles over here, it seems. And he's going to back on out. Little drone gets sniped from the sky. Okay. There they are. I was like, where did those come from? Oh my gosh, every single A-10 Warthog gets deleted from the sky. The Helixes, will they ever see action? It remains to be seen, but a giant Overlord army has been reproduced by Zocker. The bunker is ready to go, and the nuclear missile silo is 99%, and there it finally finishes 4K. One minute left on the nuke of Zocker. And again, Desada doing an incredible job of rebuilding so, so much stuff after and taking over so much of the map after that damage he took over early on. He's taken over so much of the map, but he hasn't actually rebuilt on any of that land he lost control over. And he's just had this expansion cranking away. I mean, it's been depleted for a while now, but he's got so much cash out of that pretty much for free. A little bit of lag being introduced with just the sheer numbers that are on screen at any one moment. And then there's Sigoro. He's just happily cranking away <laughs> in his little corner, doing his own thing. More EMP Patriots being established. Just an absolute web of base defenses for Desada. Another tunnel network goes up, and another tunnel network gets deleted. A little bit of fast-forward action going on, and the nuke has been fired off. Where will it land? Right there on top of the nuclear silo of K. It doesn't go down, but this might signal the attack from Zocker. And honestly, there isn't a lot of defenses right here 
4K. He's got the rocket squads and the tank hunters, rather. And oh, the artillery finishes it off. Sigoro and Zocker joining forces to clean up the nuke of K. But I mean, ultimately, it was like 80% Zocker and 20% uh, K, or Sigoro. And K loses another nuke. 10 seconds left on the particle cannon. Where will Desada fire it off? Or will he just use it, keep it hidden, or keep it hold fire at the zero seconds, basically, and then just wait for an engagement where he can use it to delete part of the enemy's army? There's a battle marker over here, but I don't think it's uh, anything happening. Ooh, one little overlord just hanging out here on the very southern edge of the map. I think maybe K forgot about him. No, I was so excited to see the helixes do something, but uh, not yet. The helixes aren't doing anything quite yet. K has expended so much cash trying to... I don't think that's intentional. I'm not sure what's going on there. K has expended so much cash rebuilding armies that he may not have a whole lot left when it comes down to the final battle, but he's got enough for this defense. Quads and Scorpions pushing down the left side of the map, but they will get cleaned up eventually by the forces. Even a mine drop coming down directly on top of those GLA forces. And K defends himself once again against Segura. <laughs> and that sneak attack tunnel also gets deployed. Is it the command center that's going to get targeted down? No. It looks like these forces are just going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the army of K. Okay, continuing to take down. I don't know if that was an anthrax bomb and that's the way it registers visually or what exactly is happening there. But uh, I got a battle marker for it as well. All right. Sigoro has been deleted once again. His army, rather, has been deleted once again. Oh, the particle cannon wasted so many of those helixes. Holy cow, that particle cannon doing so much damage. Woo. That was a lot of helixes going down. The oil derricks also got eliminated. That was an incredible pull for Dasada. And I guess that's a, that was a pretty good particle cannon usage. One nuke isn't going to clean up that much of the stuff of Dasada. He just has so much infrastructure everywhere. I mean, you could get the airfield. You could clean up those auroras, but there is just, there are just so many buildings. Everyone is happy to not be the first one to engage. Dasada pulling over to the right side of the map. Is this a carpet bombing? Not actually sure. <laughs> so many EMPs lay waste and the carpet bombing opens up the door for the MiGs to come through and firestorm that expansion point, cleaning up tomahawks, but not stopping the assault. Desada is ready to wage war or at least attack once. Pushing in one of the Gat Cannons is the only thing remaining in defense as Zocker's forces finally come to the front line. The Helixes are not on the front line. The Overlords are what is here to mount the defense. All right, Zocker giving up a little bit of ground. He's not pulling in his forces just yet, and now he's going to collapse in as the Aurora Bombers come in all on a single file line to nuke the nuke, and the Auroras get it all to cut through and eliminate that nuclear missile. And now Desada is happy to wait the minute and a half that remains on his own particle cannon until the next attack. I assume that's what he's going to be doing. Zocker not moving out. A little bit of an armadillo outpost heading to the high ground there, but Zocker deals with that quite nicely. Someone fires off some artillery somewhere. I mean, it's one of the Either K or Desada, I'm not sure actually who. Ooh, a tunnel network getting established. And, all right, I think these guys are kind of joining forces in this way. A sneak attack also coming in and literally going to be body blocking with cold fusion reactors. That tunnel network never actually got established. The carpet bombing coming through once again to try and delete that expansion, but it's not enough. On the left side, a single helix from K is going to try and sneak in the back door of Segoro. 
And Particle Cannon will delete the black markets. That late game eco for Sigoro. Man, the sound effects that they got for that Particle Cannon are just amazing. EMP Patriots getting EMP'd, it seems, as the Overlords from Zok are going to make their way down the hill and start chipping away at the defense of Desada. Now that the Particle Cannon has been used up, Zokker is happy to have his army engage against these forces. Overlords marching down the ramp. Oh my gosh, just body blocking with so many cold fusion reactors. There's so many command centers on the map for Desada. Air Force superiority for Desada, clearing up the Overlord tanks and allowing his forces to cross the map as it looks like a command center or something got removed from the game. Those Auroras coming in as support units actually turn out to be pretty darn good in good numbers. I think you need at least four of them, maybe eight of them to really do something. But if you've got eight of them, they apparently can clean up some Overlord tanks. Once again, the Firestorm on top of these units. The MiGs coming through, but they all get deleted. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the Particle. Four minutes on the rebuilt nuclear missile silo with three GATs surrounding it. And once again, in the very, very corner of the map. Yeah, this is at least eight Auroras, and it looks like they're preparing to make another bombing run. I guess at the very least, they could... Uh, you could try and cut down... Oh, he's going for this mass defense style with this slow base creep as the Overlord tanks get targeted by the Auroras and the Armadillo Outpost tries to establish the EMP Patriots. And it looks like two, three of them do get up and they land a couple of EMPs, but there's no follow-up from the ground forces of Desada. So this little expedition will fall. Another arm, or another armadillo outpost on the low ground, getting cleaned up. Carpet bombing, trying to clear the ground. The same no man's land that Desada has been trying to claim. Zocker just keeps bombing pretty regularly. A fresh third airfield, it looks like, coming up for Desada. He's going to have himself 12 Auroras with only two minutes left on the clock. 30 seconds on the Particle Cannon and five and a half minutes on Kay's new nuke. All right, the Particle Cannon is ready. Is he going to try and carve a path through all of these forces, utilizing the Particle Cannon to try and bust a hole through which the, uh, <laughs> the Auroras drive through and the Overlord tanks just get removed? <laughs> oh, my gosh, this Particle Cannon is so amazing to see it utilized. It only cleaned up like three or four Overlords and the War Factory, but uh, maybe that'll be enough for... Desada to try and punch through the defense of Zocker. One minute left, and then Zocker can just drop a nuke on the attacking army of Desada. Three, four Crusaders head up the hill, and it looks like zero Crusaders will make it home. Direct hit as one Overlord explodes and the Auroras led by the Raptors are going to try and cut through the defenses and they get it. The nuke gets deleted again. It takes extreme sacrifice as those aircraft bust through. Once again, Zocker rebuilds his nuke and Desada is not willing to wait as uh, Zocker, I imagine, doesn't have a whole lot of cash left. He's got some defenses, but just barely enough Raptors and Auroras coming through as the sneak attack lands and it looks like the GLA forces are going to be getting cut down, but not before doing some damage. The Raptors cleaning up and just a mess of VFX as these units explode. More EMP Patriots get established, more power plants. I mean, that's 80% of the red dots on this map are just power plants and EMP Patriots. Mine drop on top of the forces, or on top of the base defenses, really, of uh, 
of Desada. Quad cannon starting to push in. Is there anything else? No, it's just all quad cannons. He's going for the mass quad cannon assault. He's hoping he has more quads than the other guy has EMP Patriots. And I'm not genuinely sure which one is true. I think there are more EMP Patriots. And especially in this little corner of the world, it looks like the EMP Patriots are winning. Slowly but surely, Zocker is getting hemmed in, perhaps on two sides by Desada and K. Little spy drone showing up just to give vision of the high ground for Desada so he can see what's coming in his direction. So many EMP Patriots. This guy has so much cash. The Gats get pushed back. And the base defenses are going to try and hold against the helixes. This is so many helixes to target down the Gatling cannons and the Gatling tanks as the helixes, one, two of them start to fall. And this, this expansion will be removed from the face of the Earth. But no, the MiGs come in with their anti-air missiles and they do some hefty damage to those helixes, but still so many of them surviving. And with the healing, actually more helixes going to be going down as the Gats come in and clean house. Oh my gosh, so many helixes going down. Zocker's air armada almost being removed in about 30 seconds there by K. 28 seconds, 25 seconds left on that particle cannon. And it looks like helixes cycle around to the right side, 4K. The right side of his territory, rather. One second remains. Is it going to be the particle cannon on the forces, or is he going to try and punch down the nuclear missile of K? Let's see. Big Air Force strike. I think we look over here to the nuke of K, wherever it lands. Way down there in the corner. The Air Forces of Desada. Where is he going to go? He's only got 25 seconds to make his decision. Inferno's starting to chip away at the front line, but it's going to be Aurora's the response to clean up and the Raptors as well, I think. Trying to clean up those helixes. Back the helixes away from the front line. Yep, the Raptors trying to clear the, the air. Meanwhile, the Aurora's clear the ground. Two seconds on the nuke and it is ready to fire off, but where do you even land it? I guess you try and clean up the airfield, try and clean up the power plants if you hit infrastructure. Otherwise, you try and hit the biggest group of tanks in the most expensive area of the army. Okay, there's the Raptors landing and with that beautiful VTOL landing they've got. Which, of course, doesn't make sense for those kind of aircraft, but that's the sort of thing that happens when it's a mod. I don't know if that's on their list of things to fix. You know, do they want to spend the development time to fix something like that. A-10 Warthog comes in with the particle cannon burning through his own MiGs and Raptors. I think he just deleted his own forces from the map. Where did that nuke land? Oh, it landed over here cleaning up I think some power plants. It looks like still power is online. So some infrastructure going down. One of the supply centers getting eliminated. But now it's two minutes and a quarter left until the next nuke. Zocker is the one with the power to push that button. Another carpet bombing, it looks like, came through this area. Desada just moving through the middle of the map. A gigantic column of tanks. Inferno Cannon's trying to start the match a little bit early as the army of K collapses in from the right side. The Helix is going to be trying to pick off the forces, but the Avengers are here in more than good enough numbers to deal with the Helixes. Gats and Inferno Cannon's going to try and hold the line against the infinite carnage of this red USA player. Giant EMP bomb locks down that section of tanks, Crusaders, Avengers, and Humvees as the more and more China power from K moves down the hill to push into the forces of Desada. Tomahawks are the artillery option, but the MiGs coming in to clean up some more Avengers and Crusaders. K pushing forward, but can he deal with the infinite EMPs? The wave after wave of EMPs that will stop his tanks in their tracks. 
Desada baiting the monster, the sleeping giant that was. <laughs> As the MiGs come in for another pass. That firestorm just burning up the ground. And K is making progress. He's cleaning up the Patriots. But does he have the numbers to clean up these forces? At the same time, Seguro going to be jumping on the airfield and maybe burning a path to, through to the particle cannon as that Tomahawk gets a money shot against the ground forces of, Des of Seguro. Tomahawk slowly working their way backwards. Those EMP Patriots slowing the assault. And this might be the opportunity that Zocker has been waiting for. The Particle Cannon might be the next target now that the airfield and the command center are gone. And yes, he's going to hone in on that Particle Cannon. Zocker is ready to nuke something. One minute left on the Particle Cannon, but it's down to half health as on the front line. K continues to push forward and Zocker hasn't made his decision yet. The Aurora's come through to try and bomb something, but it's not enough. The front line continues to collapse. K had it in him to break the front line. Where are the reinforcements? There isn't much left on the ground for Desada. He's got so many buildings, so many EMP Patriots, but he doesn't have many ground troops left. It's mostly Tomahawks as he's gonna try and pick off this army bit by bit from afar. The Migs coming in for another pass at these buildings, trying to help these overlords clear out the ground, clear out the center of the map, and K has expanded, expended most of his army to delete the center of the map, but will he have any strength to push forward into the base of Desada, or will he just call it a day? A-10 Warthogs coming in with a giant hit against the... Oh, the Auroras as well. A giant hit against the Inferno Cannons and the Overlords as the Tomahawks target down the last Inferno Cannon and remove it from the game. The nuke has found its mark. And where will Zocker hit? Over here, a big clump of power plants going down. One Crusader looking to clean up the last of these Infernos. Oh man, that Tomahawk getting a killer kill over there on the left side. Ooh. Two Tomahawks going to be targeting down the Emperor Overlord as this Crusader, this Paladin rather, tries to survive, and the Paladin barely survives there. 38 seconds on the clock, 4K's extra nuke. Wow, one Tomahawk gets targeted down, and the Crusader gets eliminated as well. No, the Helix goes down first, just barely. That Paladin survives. Paladin, and that's the Crusader over there. So a slight difference, but uh, in this particular case, Desada will survive for the next moment. He's lost some infrastructure, but he is uh, holding on to this game, holding on to his life in this game. The nuke is ready to go. Another anthrax bomb or something coming in here. And once again, the Moab doesn't land. And the Overlord tanks. The nuke lands directly on them. A couple of helixes as well perhaps went down as Zocker has been weakened. And there isn't a really a big, a big team up in this moment. It seems like there's little moments where people comply with each other to attack one player. But Segoro's been attacking just about everyone. Maybe not Zocker over there in the opposite corner of the map. But... He's been attacking K and Desada. Neither one of them has just killed off Segoro, which either one of them probably could. And now the tanks are moving out. Zocker moves in for the defense. Carpet bombing misses the main army, but the mine drop comes in and the artillery strike levels the war factory and Overlord as well getting caught in that arty strike. And the mines will get cleaned up. K won't be able to catch any units with those mines. Maybe a reverse mine drop or maybe an EMP drop coming in here. 
EMP. Yes, and the EMP lands directly on the building under construction. The mine's coming down from Zocker. He's happy to mine all of the entrances to his base. Well, Scorpions are going to jump on this nuclear missile. Segura once again going to try and target down that nuke and reset the timer 4K so he doesn't have another opportunity to utilize that. The Gats and the Bunker are going to be enough to delete those Scorpions, and it's mass infantry with the help of these quad cannons to shut down the MiGs before they can get in the air. Meanwhile, the attack rages as K pushes into Zocker's base, and Segoro makes the attack against K. Desada happy to wait this one out, let these three players fight amongst themselves as he's got 30 seconds left on his particle cannon and he's coming in with his own A-10 Warthogs that whiff against the army. I think they were trying to clean up the army and kind of support Segoro there. Zucker holds the line, his defense is strong and K has lost a considerable amount of his army but he continues to produce more and more gats. At this point, it's anyone's game, and I'm guessing that uh, Segoro might as well take this game for all anyone knows. I mean, sure, Desada looks like he's the powerhouse player. He's very well spread out. K has a huge number of Gats and a decent number of Overlords, and the Helix army remains strong with Zocker, but discount all of that because Segoro has been surviving on just pennies this entire time, and somehow despite the fact that he's attacked both of his neighbors multiple times, he has not been stomped out of existence. The thought of mutually assured destruction, truly keeping everyone safe in this game. Artie Strike comes in at the same time. These, uh... RPG troopers are going to try and target down this nuclear missile silo. The nuke comes in and lands on part of the army of K. Zocker trying to make some kind of headway. Meanwhile, the uh, Humvee, the Rockvees of Desada are looking for the target. And the nuke got removed. Nicely done there. It will be re-established. K is not going to be giving up that easily. And K steps into the middle of the map, but he will be punished for that. The assault almost keeping up. The Katusha. Katusha? I don't know. Coming in here for Sigoro. All right, Zocker is moving out. The second big assault where he leaves his walls and he's going to carve through the base of K. K has reinforcements coming in, but it's not a lot. Only a couple of overlords and a couple of gats against all of this armor of Zocker. Zocker has to deal with the base defenses as well, and the reinforcing overlords are finally showing up to the front line for K. Zocker, those, uh, those gat cannons actually doing a significant amount of damage, and Zocker getting almost overwhelmed despite the fact that he visually has the higher number of tanks. He's losing more and more of them as the reinforcements come in. And now the reinforcements tipping the scales into the balance of K's favor, I think. Although two more of those tanks just exploded on the side of K, so Zocker may be able to hold out for another moment. No, the last final tanks of, K of Zocker just disappear. A mine drop and an EMP, perhaps, at the same time. The EMP misses. It does land on some buildings, but it misses the army. And yeah, that must be anthrax. So visually, that's weird. I mean, I like that they've got a little bit of a heat effect going on, but uh, I haven't seen the anthrax before. Mines are getting cleaned up. The anthrax is doing its thing. We get to see another particle cannon, it looks like. So that's pretty neat. All right, the Humvees are going to punch through right as the Particle Cannon is coming up. They're going to try and find their mark, going for a bit of a scout here as they're going to lead all the way back to the back of the base, revealing the power plants. Maybe he's going to try and send them into low power mode. Meanwhile, Scorpions and Rocket Launchers for Segoro pushing in. 
The Inferno cannons will fall against the infantry, but the bunker's standing strong for now. The particle cannon firing off somewhere. The command center getting targeted down, but those MiGs dropping some insane DPS against the forces of K. And once again, the elite squadron of aircraft coming through with the infinite bombing of the nuclear missile. Every single aircraft goes down. No one survives. Never mind. Oh, well. Gets eliminated as well. EMP. Yep, EMP locks down a couple of those artillery pieces. Oh, man, some MiGs making it through the front line, landing a firestorm on those power plants, deleting them. Every single player has so much static defense. These scorpions and these quad cannons finally making their way through a couple of these buildings, racking up some double vents and some elite status, or some single vent and some elite status. Wow, those gats do almost nothing to the tanks. I think they clean up the quad cannons pretty good, but they do almost nothing to those tanks. And it looks like finally... No, <laughs> the scorpions are still alive. I was going to say finally Sigoro getting cleaned up here, but honestly, <laughs> his scorpions are still attacking this gat cannon. The overlords of Zocker back up. Raptors coming over to the left side of the map. A couple of Auroras as well. A couple of Humvees taking some damage from those rockets. And K is getting double teamed here as Nuke is going to get eliminated. Nicely done once again. And this time some of the aircraft actually survive. One minute and a quarter left on the particle cannon. Five minutes and a quarter left on Zocker's nuke, which is once again in the very far corner of the map, at least making it a costly thing to engage with. And the overlords this time, I think, will punch through for Zocker. We'll see there's still this sneaky overlord in the corner, just sitting there against the edge of the map. But Zocker has blasted through the front line, and the carpet bombing comes down. Cleaning up a couple of the overlords, it looks like, as Zocker is now maybe going to be able to eat up the reinforcements as they pop out of the War Factory one by one. Soon, maybe there will only be three, as that's actually a spy drone hanging out in the base of Zocker. He may have to deal with that at some point, but right now he's got MiGs dropping those missiles on his overlords. Not quite enough to start a firestorm, it seems. EMP, or is it the mine drop? EMP locking down a couple of the Overlord tanks, actually. Locking down the production structures as well, as even over here this extra war factory gets eliminated. Response EMP, no, it's going to be the cluster mine coming in 4K, trying to stop these Overlords from doing too much more damage. MiGs coming in for another pass doing more damage to these overlords but honestly very little and since they don't start the firestorm they're not doing that damage over time reactor goes down trying to slow down the uh the gat cannons of k k just won't die the airfield goes down the migs all get eliminated and these gat cannons well, it looks like they don't actually do very much damage versus the Emperor Overlords, especially when it's triple heroic there. And while Zocker was away fighting in the West, it looks like Tomahawk showed up at his front door. And this one single tank hunter is cleaning up Tomahawk's left and right. He's about to get his third Tomahawk at least, maybe even a fourth one in rapid succession. <laughs> no, he finally does get deleted from the game. Zocker stays the course, continues to attack as the particle cannon lights up more and more helixes, eliminating of some of these power plants as well. 
And once again, the nuke gets shut down. The power plants will be also targeted, but it's not enough to break them down. Hey, a raptor survived. A raptor actually made it out alive. Oh my gosh, this one barracks 4K just producing endless headaches for Zocker. EMP Patriots deal with the Scorpions and the Quad Cannons of Segoro in the north. Artillery strike, a dead hit on these forces of Zocker, but it's still not enough. Double Vent and Heroic Overlord surviving for a moment longer. And finally, those Tank Hunters go down. Three Overlords left for Zocker, two Overlords left, one! And then there were none. As the sneak attack comes through once again, but so many EMP Patriots, the Anthrax doing some work to cut down the ground forces, but not cut down the EMP Patriots as they don't care much about breathing Anthrax. Rock these, a couple of Crusaders and the Avengers going to be able to deal with the GLA forces of Segoro. Finally, that bunker gets busted. So many rocket troopers inside of there. So many RPG troopers, rather. It's like one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, how many is that? It's like eight RPG troopers or something? No wonder that bunker was so tough to break. All right, the nuke has not been rebuilt. Zocker might truly be out of cash at this point. Another carpet bombing coming through. He's trying to still break this position. He keeps removing the supply center. I mean, what else can you do? But it doesn't actually kill the supply center. just kills the truck. All right, Crusaders in the middle of the map. Artillery getting ready to fire off again at the EMP Patriots. The firebase is the thing actually holding the line against that attack. And the Scorpions are going to get engaged here with the Crusaders. The Crusaders cutting through the Scorpion tank lines as the Raptors make a pass at this GLA army, helping to delete it once again. The Helix is finally moving out. Zocker looking for an angle, looking for an opportunity to make something happen. 40 seconds left on that particle cannon. An insane amount of death and destruction. Not a uh, highly technical match in terms of execution of uh, attacks or anything. Just a lot of units, a lot of effects, and a lot of fun in this match. Not, a, uh, not the same as a general's match, though. It's a different kind of a beast, Gen Evo. It uh, has the same units as generals, but a lot of it plays very differently, and we're seeing that in the course of this game. Although I've seen games in generals that don't look that different from this. A couple of fully heroic Humvees on the left side, helping to cut through Segoro's forces. And finally, Segoro selling off here, and he will be leaving the game. And then there will be three. He hasn't left the game yet, though. Okay. Segoro, one of the developers working on this game, has left the game, left the match. I think that's a little sound effect bug because of the EMP. Rock V's might be the solution we've been looking for this whole time. Particle Cannon is ready to fire off whenever. Such a sick effect. Oh my gosh. I just looked on the mini map and like five dots all appeared at the same time. MIGs and a carpet bomb coming in in concert with each other. Oh, that one Humvee surviving the Tomahawk, the Paladin, everything else dies. But that one Humvee survives. 
And uh, all of that stuff gets deleted as well. I think Artillery Strike came in and removed that stuff from the game. Warthog Strike comes through. The Gats go down. But the Warthogs also <laughs> die, I guess. You know, support powers don't cost anything, so... I thought those raptors were about to come in here to punch through this armor. An absolute mess of units. Fuel air bomb lands. Does some damage, but not enough to clean anything up, it looks like. I think a mine drop just came through. Now the EMP. I think the EMP was supposed to come first. I think the, the timing of the support powers got a little bit messed up. These Inferno Cannons continuing to make a little bit of action happen against Desada. A couple of MiGs going down. Zocker trying what he can, even if it's not a lot. Oh, finally that drone did get cleaned up. All right, the particle cannon is ready to fire off once again. Where will it be utilized? The MiGs cleaning up a section of those Crusaders and the Raptors coming in to clean up an Overlord. There is going to be the particle cannon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just deleting the map. Gets a Gat cannon as well. And K is getting pressured here. So many tanks coming in, so many Humvees, Avengers, Paladins, Crusaders, the Tomahawks as well, putting so much damage out. All right, K is mounting the defense, big line of overlords. Zocker is not taking the opportunity to come in here with his own forces. So Desada is getting pushed back. On the far left column, it looks like he's making progress. His force is going to continue to make headway there, but he's trying to avoid a direct engagement as the reinforcements come in. His own force is back up. A-10 Warthogs coming in for another pass, but I don't think they're actually going to land anything. They're trying to clean up the MiGs. No, they're trying to clean up the supply center as all of the reinforcements for K push back the army of Desada. Arty Strike fires off. So many Raptors. Oh my gosh, the Comanches are now here, but the Gats just wipe them out instantly. Carpet bombing lands on the Patriots. Another artillery strike firing up. Oh my gosh, so many tank hunters here. All right. Oh no, the EMP and the carpet bomb don't line up. Or maybe that was supposed to be a mine drop. All right, Inferno Cannons for Zocker starting to chip away at the defense of Desada. Desada starting to lose the center of the map. The last time this happened, he retook the center of the map. He's got 90 seconds left on that particle cannon. The Raptors being utilized to clean up the infantry. The MiG shut down hard, but the Inferno Cannon's still making progress. And actually, the Tank Hunter's working as tank fodder in this particular case, absorbing the shots from the EMP Patriots, absorbing shots from... Oh! Moab lands! And many, many, many Inferno Cannons get removed. Zocker! has been defeated. 50 seconds left on the Particle Cannon, and this may be the last stand of K. Once this Particle Cannon activates, we'll see how much army he's got left. He may actually have quite a bit, depending on where the Particle Cannon gets used. Comanches are here, but the MiGs clean up the Comanches. Every single Comanche going down. And those Tomahawks pushing in, maybe? So much back and forth between the Tomahawks and the Inferno Cannons. And the Overlord's clearing out the left side of the map. 
those power plants, those EMP Patriots. This one Humvee, a very brave Humvee, making his way forward. Ten seconds, eight seconds left on the particle cannon for Desada. I assume he's going to use it over here against these overlords. And then he'll only have this group of Gats and MiGs and Inferno cannons to worry about. Man, that, uh, that uh, firestorm, once it gets activated... Three or four overlords claimed by that particle cannon, and that's going to sound the retreat. The Humvees coming in to finish off those overlords. All right, Desada starting to close in. Oh my gosh, so many Gats going down as the Raptor comes in, and K has been defeated. Dasada takes it in the end. That particle cannon being an MVP. The aircraft and the particle cannon combine MVPs of this game. K and Dasada finishing out this match. And that'll do it. An explosive game, but definitely a uh, slow burn for big chunks of that. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Gen Evo action. That'll do it for this video. For this game, this is Cybert signing out.